Hey, good fish. It's the 22nd of September, 2018. And I really want to get to doing more videos. And it's just not happening. Um, tons of stuff to share with you. Just awesome things. But as I was checking in on the, uh, the goings-on in the world here, I came across something here that I was compelled to show and share because I believe that it is definitely, um, I don't know what you might call it, uh, a signpost, a trigger or what have you, but I just wanted to put out there that this attack on this Iranian military parade, um, was unequivocally a false flag. There is multiple images and multiple videos and multiple articles, all of which add up to a big giant dud of a false flag. But the whole world media is carrying it and is running with it. Okay? This wounded guy, the, none of their wounded bleed. You notice that? None of the wounded bleed. And they were supposedly caught up in a massacre. Okay, now I'm just telling you this because I just feel as though it needs to be put out there. Um, because I think this is a very telltale thing. The simple fact that it is an obvious false flag for anyone to take literally 10 minutes and look at what they are telling you, okay, in all of these articles. Los Angeles Times, New York Times, CNN, NBC, CBS... Israeli news, uh, let's see, we have the Times of Israel, I mean, look at this image, here's one of the wounded that doesn't bleed, same guys that were carrying, uh, that were with Anza there, these guys, see this guy here, I mean, it's, it's absolutely comic book level, but my point is, I mean, look at this, this guy's doing selfies, and he's spotless with no blood anywhere on this child, he, they smeared some goop on him. They put a tourniquet on a leg that is not bleeding. This is ridiculous. But my point is, again, that the world's media are covering this and they are putting out the very same storyline as they've been given from the Iranians. Okay? So this is a joint effort. All of these countries know this was a false flag. So what does that tell you? Okay, you need to think about these things. It's obvious. I'll link everything I have here and you will be able to deduce very easily that this was a complete and utter false flag. Uh, I can present as much uh, of, of what I've got all day long, but you need to absorb this stuff for yourself. This was the supposed very scene of the shooting right here. This, these were the targets, the dignitaries, the uh, military elites. And this was supposed to have been shot up. And it goes on and on and on. The bottom line is, why is the rest of the world just going along with it? Why aren't they saying, hey, Iranian people, your government is pulling a false flag on you. Okay, you understand what I mean? Look at this. He's supposed to be wounded. There's not a speck of blood on anyone. That guy looks like the guy from Seinfeld. I mean, I'm just saying. This, this is uh, a signal in, in their world because they all know that this war is going to kick off. So why are they creating this false flag and why are Israel and the United States and everybody else just going along with it and no one is questioning anything whatsoever? That's all I'm saying. It signals something. So I was compelled to just make a quick video and point out false flag, you know, use your discernment, do your research if you're so inclined, but this is telling uh, something. Truly is. I know it is. And they're all involved. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to say, but they're all involved. All the governments, you name it. Of course, the Khomeini is saying it's the U.S.'s fault. Right? So, here we go. It's coming. Just, you, you gotta expect this stuff now, okay? Any number of things at any minute. 
But just always remember that Jesus is above all. If you are in him, you are good to go. But you got to know him. You got to indwell his Holy Spirit and walk with him. Okay, always, because this war, this, this spiritual war is going natural. It's coming to a neighborhood near you. And you should really get your house in order now. And that's Jesus Christ, the only way to the truth and the life, right there. So, I hope you all have a good Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom, and peace and grace to all of you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 